space, the final frontier. It's a place of wonder, mystery, and endless possibilities. Since the dawn of humanity we've gazed up at the stars and wondered about our place in the cosmos. How far away are those twinkling points of light? How far would we have to travel to reach them? The answer, as it turns out, is further than you might think. Space is not just some abstract concept, it's a real, physical place. And like any place it has boundaries and borders. But how do we define where Earth ends and space begins? To understand this, we need to consider what makes space unique. The absence of air, the vast distances, the unforgiving environment. All these factors come into play when we define the boundary between our planet and the cosmos. So how far is space from your home? The answer is not as straightforward as giving a single number. You see, there isn't a visible line in the sky that suddenly separates Earth from space. Instead, the transition is gradual, with the air thinning out as we venture higher and higher. Scientists have established an altitude called the Kármán line as a working boundary. This line sits 100 kilometers or approximately 62 miles above sea level. Why this specific altitude? The Kármán line represents the altitude where traditional aircraft can no longer fly. At this height, the air is so thin that aircraft would need to travel at orbital speeds to generate enough lift to stay aloft. Essentially, at the Kármán line, the rules of aeronautics give way to the laws of astrodynamics. To calculate the distance of space from your home, use this simple formula. Distance to space, equal sign 100 kilometers, altitude of your location. For example, if you live at sea level, the distance to space is 100 kilometers. If you live in Denver, which is about 1.6 kilometers above sea level, the distance to space is 98.4 kilometers. The journey from your home to the Kármán line takes us through the different layers of Earth's atmosphere. Each layer has unique characteristics and plays a vital role in sustaining life on our planet. The thermosphere is characterized by its extremely high temperatures and the presence of the International Space Station. Finally, we have the exosphere, the outermost layer of our atmosphere, where the air gradually fades into the vacuum of space. Crossing the Kármán line signifies a profound change. We've left behind the familiar embrace of Earth's atmosphere and entered the vacuum of space. Here, there is no air to breathe, no air resistance, and no scattering of sunlight to create a blue sky. One of the most noticeable changes is weightlessness. While still under the influence of Earth's gravity, in orbit, we experience a continuous freefall, creating the sensation of weightlessness. Astronauts float inside their spacecraft and objects behave differently than they do on Earth. The transition to space is a stark reminder of the delicate balance that makes life on Earth possible. It highlights the importance of our atmosphere and the preciousness of our home planet. And it underscores the incredible challenges and rewards of space exploration.